that you have 19 panels generating five five kilowatt hours yeah five kilowatt hour system 19 panels it's about a five-year-old system um i love it i've had no problems with it uh originally had it uh, installed via a power purchase agreement but have now uh, i'm in the process of actually purchasing the system outright um uh because i've done the math and i have the production data and it tells me i actually uh, it'll make money for me eventually. Great, and about the battery, um, so you have a Tesla. Yeah, I have a, I have a Tesla, and um, uh, this car does not do uh, bi-directional charging, um, but a lot of electric vehicles starting next year, you're gonna see, especially Volkswagen, Rivian, um, Hyundai, are all coming out with electric vehicles that you can hook up to your house, and it'll be, your, it'll, they'll act as your backup power in case you have an outage. Is there enough uh, to provide emergency backup to your house? Yeah, more than enough. Um, so if you were to get a Tesla Powerwall, like a, a home battery, that would be about, uh, it could be about like 14 kilowatt hour battery. These cars, this is, and this one has one of the smaller batteries. This one's 55. I mean, it's, a, it's got a, cars have big, big batteries. Um, so I always advise folks that if they're thinking about getting battery backup, wait, and I would say utilize your car. <laughs> if you can if you can swing it, I mean, you know, electric cars aren't cheap, but the upfront expenditure, especially on this car, I did sort of like a lifetime uh, review of how much it total, total you know, in total would cost to maintain the car and gas and everything. And a, a new Tesla is approximates, like I had a, a Subaru Impreza, and it was this, similar to a Subaru Impreza over the lifetime of the car. Um, so it, if you can swing the upfront cost, it's worth it in the long run, for sure. How will the time of use tariff affect you as a solar owner? Yeah, it's gonna be hugely beneficial, um, mostly because the time of use tariff, there'll be a peak time where you're gonna be, uh, I think the cost of electricity is gonna be about 19 cents per kilowatt, or, uh, or sorry, per watt. Um, the rest of the day, it's about four cents, and then when, uh, from like midnight to 6 a.m., it's gonna be about three cents. Uh, the advantage of having solar is that during the time period when you would otherwise be paying 19 cents per kilo, uh, per watt, uh, you're using your solar. And in fact, uh, if you're producing more than you're using, you're actually selling back to the grid at 19 cents. Um, so it's, it's, the new tariff is really designed for people who have solar. And also it helps me as an EV owner because then I can time my charging of my vehicle during the super off peak hours at about three cents per kilowatt. Um, so it'll be super cheap to charge the car and I sell back to the grid at 19 cents, can't beat it. <laughs>